Good afternoon, everyone. How are we doing today? I like share number thirty-one. What is that number? Thirty-one is the number of the publicly traded companies that engage in Bitcoin mining as of today. That's quite a number, isn't it? Now let's delve a little deeper. I would like to see a show of hands. So here's the question: If you combine all these 31 companies' hash rate and compare them against the whole network hash rate, what would you come? I would like to see a show of hands. Who think it's more than 50 percent of the network hash rate? No one. How about 40 to 50 percent? No one. How about 30 to 40 percent? Oh, quite a few. 20 to 30. 20 to 30 might be the one. Yeah. Less than 20. Okay, I see half of you hesitated to raise your hand, but you'll see the answer quite soon. All right, um, let me try to get this work. Oops. Uh, someone help me? That worked? Okay, our something about our company. So we we went public in 2019 as one of the first blockchain company that ever goes public. And I joined this company in 2021. Back then, I was working in China on capital markets with other companies, and I got tired of all these lockdowns in China and wanted to come back and reunite with my family in California. And Kenan was looking for someone to represent on the capital mark side. So it was a perfect match. And it's been three years. And um, I can't be more happy. All right, so, um, so what's Bitcoin mining anyway? People, some people say Bitcoin mining is just a game. Some say it's a gamble. But I would say it's more than that. If you looked at freedom, financial freedom precisely, you need something to help with that, right? Because freedom doesn't come free. So network hash rate is ever getting larger and larger and distributed and decentralized. So by mining Bitcoin, you actually prevent someone from attacking the blockchain, preventing people f from a monopoly, and hence help the company and everyone gain Bitcoin with the ease of mind, right? So there are four pillars of mining, capital, operations, miners, and energy. These four pillars work together to make a sustainable and profit Bitcoin mining so that every one of you, of us, will be able to mine and Consolidated the Bitcoin mining blockchain. So let me talk about a little bit of history, right? So before Bitcoin mining moved to the United States, it was part of a Chinese business. In the summers and springs, miners mine out of the stranded hydroelectricity. But when the water level goes down, they move the miners over to hundreds of miles away to mine them with the stranded coal power. So they were, I call this migratory mining. What's interesting about that is Bitcoin mining back then was no, it's very, very different, right? Like everyone is looking at it as a business for sure. But because it's founded by friends and family, people are looking for immediate income. So if they feel that 
the Bitcoin price is going down, their immediate reaction would be to sell the coins and the miners and get out of the game. That's the reason why we see in the old days, the network hash rate goes up and down together with the Bitcoin prices almost immediately. It is very different now. Since 2019, even before China completely banned Bitcoin mining, the China stake in the world has decreased from two-thirds of the network to one-third of network in about less than two years, right? And the United States has increased from four to 24, which is a big jump. What happened? One side of the story was that um, Chinese government started to slowly, slowly wrapping down the Bitcoin mining and the miners who got really rich in 2017 by hiking up the Bitcoin price actually wanted to stay under the radar a little bit because, you know, Bitcoin trading, crypto trading had been largely banned in China and that made them very difficult to sell Bitcoins. So the hash rate never recovered in China until recently. In the meanwhile, American miners have gained a lot of capital because of the great hash rate, great economics of Bitcoin, ha have, uh, Bitcoin money. You know, companies like Ride and Marathon started raising capital from the capital market since 2017. And that process accelerated in 2019 and 2020. And also there was over one year, Spitman's internal conflict, followed by the pandemic, and a hash rate reset in China by the complete ban of Bitcoin mining. So that all added up to a very favorable economies of Bitcoin mining. In the end, we all know that people get crazy about Bitcoin mining, and a lot of people starting to accumulate leverage, you know, buying miners that didn't even exist or that, you know, they didn't know even they have a place to put them. So starting from 20, 2021, 2022, the hash rate started to climb up even over a bear market and a lot of companies went into trouble after the bull market. But U.S. companies are very resilient. They learn quickly they recover from the downside and you know all of a sudden we have the strongest network hash rate among the globe we're not just building the largest but the strongest practice of bitcoin mining here as you can see united states hash rate stay very stable whereas the global hash rate actually are pretty speculative when the bitcoin price goes up it increases, but if the Bitcoin price stay flat, the global hash rate sometimes even decreases. But United States is very consistent. That's why my answer to the question I answered in the first place was 35, 34% as of the end of last quarter, right? It's quite surprising. And now U.S. Bitcoin mining experience has grown quickly. A lot of companies are coming out with different differentiated Bitcoin mining practices. You know, in the beginning when a lot of the hash rate moved to United States, the market wasn't ready. So there was been a mining off the grid on the grid with ground energy, natural gas, um, some repurposed facilities, but now it's you know over forty percent, even sixty percent green energy curtailment on the grid, consolidated, and a lot of the public listed companies are coming out with larger and larger mining sites. These are the numbers from U.S. Energy Information Administration, UIA. So if you look at it, we have one mining site greater than 500 megawatts, five mining sites greater than 200 megawatts, five more than 100, and nine more than 50. If you consider three years ago, 
it's even more. It was even it was even difficult to find one mining site is larger than 50 megawatts in the United States. So we have gone a long way in Bitcoin mining and becoming a very plausible industry. Bitcoin mining also help regional grids. If you look at the narrative here, the U.S. power outrage outage is actually increase in the rapid rains. You know, we have 40 to 50 years old infrastructure, whether it's power or substation or power lines, that is not designed to accommodate very accurate climate changes. The, six, the recent six years outage doubled compared to six years ago. But Bitcoin mining seems to be a great solution to help with the grid. It increases the technology applied in the grid, whether it's green energy or efficiency energy, or you know, just a you know, very flexible load. So mining as a very flexible load is actually very helpful because you can shut it down if you need it. So it in turn helps with the green energy development and also increase the green energy usage. And you know, for some states, the coal re refuse recommendation is also a great way to get rid of all these used coal. And it also provides benefiting to communities and infrastructure. So I would say, you know, despite the you know, negativity in the news, green energy and Bitcoin mining actually play hand in hand very well. And I see most of the governors and politicians are start to treat Bitcoin mi you know, mining as a great way to help stabilize our, our grid and our energy. And I would say the U.S. system actually is perfect for Bitcoin mining as an industry. We have the constitutions and legal protection for individual freedom, including crypto freedom and mining rights. We have capital markets that is very developed and encourage growth. Growth is actually the name of the game. So public miners will be able to raise a ton of capital, expanding and gaining more and more shares on the global network. And also there is this federal and state two-level setup, which means even though there are states that are not so favorable towards Bitcoin mining, the miners can always learn from the lessons and find the favorable states and concentrate their Bitcoin mining experience. And more and more states are learning from other states to change their policies and to help their local grid. So actually it's a very developing system. Mining equipment are designed to accommodate the changes in this industry. We help our customer, including Cypher Mining and some of the other public listed companies, to optimize their operations. We have a great machine, very low maintenance, great durability, and great high consistency on the extreme temperatures. And our global services are just everywhere. And we put a great emphasis on the US services. We have service centers in North Carolina, Louisiana, California, and Texas. We have four warehouses across the globe and two global factories in Malaysia and China. We try to build out a very responsible and responsive mining manufacturing business, helping our customers to become stronger, because we believe in a very simple philosophy. Our customer success is our success. Now we are seeing an evolving and resilient USB coin mining ecosystem, from mining solution to mining pool, from exchanges to the miners themselves. I would say you know, United States is getting stronger on every single aspect, and we're proud to be part of the ecosystem, providing 
services and innovations to help everyone. We try to be a very responsible party, treat people with respect and honesty, and help us grow together. That's my speech. Thank you for coming. And please enjoy the rest of the conference. Do drop by our booth, which is number 916. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks. Next year, we are bringing the Bitcoin Conference to the American West, Las Vegas. The brightest minds in the world will converge to deliver Bitcoin history. Buy your tickets now at b.tc slash conference slash 2025.